Hey guys, today we are going to be talking about this photo up here. Would you rather have an 850 credit score, 5 million in cash, or $4,000 a week? So, definitely not the credit for score. Life. For life. For, for life. life. Ah, for, yeah. life. for life. Okay. Um, Kirby, I'm going I'm to let you go first because I, I just want to hear what you say because I have an answer, but I don't want Kirby chewing me out in the video. So. <laughs> No, <laughs> go ahead. You go first. Go ahead. Take it away. Go take it away. Um, all right. So I really put some thought into this one. Obviously, the first one, a fifty credit score. I really don't care. Uh, so that's that's not that was that was like I x that one out immediately. The two that I was thinking on was four thousand a week with five million in cash. So for me, the five million in cash, if I can make money off of it would seem like the better option. So that was the option I chose and I can go into it, but I'll, I'll let you comment back if you got something. All right, and let's, let's go with it. So, so if you got the 5 million in cash, what would you do? Okay. So there was a couple things I thought <laughs> I already had this whole, whole thing pre prepared. So 5 million cash. Now just say right now with, and I know that interest rates will fluctuate and change, but right now, if you get a high yield savings account at 5%, you're still making more than the what the four grand per week would pay you in a, on an annual basis. Um, that's just off the 5% on a savings account. If I do deals in real estate and I'm able to get 1% or better, that would be 50 grand a month, which is higher than, you know, four grand a week. You're looking at 16 grand a month. So off 5 million, if I could get 1% of that on real estate, I'd be making more than the 16 grand. On a long-term basis, if I put that money into the stock market for say at 10%, that would be more than the four grand a week. So these, and then also say with uh, dividends, that was the other fourth one that I thought of. If I put 5 million, just into say i'm not telling you guys to buy the stock but altria group which pays a nine percent dividend that also would be higher than four grand a week so those are my thoughts going into this one i i, I like i like your thought process behind it um of course the 850 credit score don't matter to me once you get over 750 850 it don't matter once you're over the sevens you're good anyway it was a toss up for me as well. The five thousand dollars, I mean the five million dollars, or the four hundred thousand a week for life. Just so people understand, if you did four thousand a week uh, for the rest of your life, and let's say you lived another forty years, that's eight point three million. So just so people have an understanding of that. But I'm still conflicted. I'm honestly still conflicted because this is why. So let's say you do the real estate, the real estate thing, right? So unless unless you're paying cash for the real estate deals, it's not like you can go sit there and leverage it and go five, you know, have five million and then go leverage it, you know, four X and then get a twenty million dollar investment. Right, right. Understand that. Um, and then you you buy it cash, and then I, I look at the the risk aspect of it also. I mean, of course, me, I've been on both sides of the ups and downs in the stock market and the ups and downs in the real estate market. When I mean ups and downs, I've I've had stocks crash and crater on me. I've had reverse splits done on me. I've had companies file bankruptcy. I know one that filed bankruptcy, I blame that on me because I wasn't doing due diligence. I don't blame that on the company because I shouldn't have been in the company in the first place. Um, And in the real estate game, I didn't had, you know, hurricane damage that costed a mint. I didn't had properties burned down which stopped the cash flow for a while. Um, so I've I've been on the ups and downs on both of them. On a risk aspect, just a risk aspect basis, I would go with, now I gave you all that ups and downs, but with on a risk aspect basis, I would still go with the 5 million. <laughs> I still <laughs> go with the 5 million. And the reason why, <laughs> and, the reason, and the reason why it's simple is because of the knowledge that I have about money. Now, I wouldn't recommend a layman that has no no financial literacy that don't that can't even balance 
you know, they can't even balance a budget on a $50,000 income to take $5 million. So, I mean, because it's simple. Only thing you got to do is, again, I've talked about it ad nauseum, just look at sports athletes, look at NBA players, uh, look at lottery winners. They get a lump sum of money. They don't know what the hell to do with it. They have no financial literacy or they trust the wrong people because they have no financial literacy. So they think, oh, I'll just give it and have somebody else manage it. Don't know that they robbing you blind. Exactly. But the only reason why I would take the five million is because of my knowledge and financial literacy. But if I have no knowledge and everybody think they're smart, you know, everybody say, oh, if I had that much money, I'm going to invest it. They don't know what the hell they're going to invest it in, but they're going to lose it. That's what they're going to do. They're going to lose it to somebody like Alex, you know, somebody that's <laughs> out there praying on a week. But <laughs> but if I if I was just having a true moment with myself and I said, I didn't I don't know nothing about finances. I want to take the safest route possible. The safest route would be the four thousand a week for the rest of your life, because of course you're gonna blow through a couple four thousands. Hell, you might blow through a lot of the four thousand, but it's gonna keep coming for the rest of your life. And but in that five million dollar instance, if you get it, you don't know what the hell to do with it. Next thing you know, you blowing the bag. I always say that no matter how much money you make, it's some place in the world that you can lose it all. So me personally, I would take the eight, the five million, but for majority of the people that's watching, I hope they would have enough sense to know their limitations when it comes to finance and they take $4,000 a week. Um, but with that $5 million, uh, what I would do, I would, I would take the Dave Ramsey approach. Let's just say I had nothing else. I just knew the knowledge. I would take the Dave Ramsey approach and then I would buy multiple, multiple rental properties, but I would pay cash. And then with that cash, with that cash that I pay for these properties, what I would do is I would I would build up two years of rental income to show income on my tax returns to show that I'm a real estate investor. But then after that, I would refi the hell out of them, take all take about 50 to 60 percent of the equity out of all those properties and go buy more properties and then leverage it to the hill and then keep building out the portfolio. That's what I would do, because. Being in this game and having financial literacy know that if I got $5 million and I go to the bank and say, hey, I want to buy this 20-unit complex, they say, oh, well, what income you got? And I ain't got no other income. I'm like, I'm not giving you that loan. So I would start small, buying uh, twos, fours, maybe, I mean, some, maybe some fives and sixes cash. And then, yeah, maybe, yeah, twos to sixes cash. And then I would, like, two years, and then I would, you know, get that income on my tax returns, and then I would... I will refi out of every property that I have and take the cash out and then still making sure the property's cash flow. And then I would buy more properties, but also with the cash flow that's coming from those properties, that's what I would enjoy life with. I would enjoy life with the 5 million altogether. No, it's funny because it seems like our thoughts were very similar, very, very similar. Cause I was thinking the same thing. I'm only going with the 5 million because of my knowledge in investing. Like, and I, and I had that thought when I, when you sent me that, I was like, I'm like, I know that is the only reason I'm going with the 5 million, because if I didn't know anything, then the 4,000 would be the best option. But with 5 million, 5 million and knowing what I know, I know that I can make that money grow. And in the real estate perspective, uh, aspect that especially was what I was thinking is paying cash, not financing, not trying to do anything creative, just five million you know what can i get myself with five million in, five million in cash and just go from there i didn't even think about the uh you know pull equity out and all that kirby's kirby's way too fancy yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i was i was checking every dime i was checking every dime from it but uh definitely um uh, i was thinking of a cash option uh or cash deal you know five million and you know, I was thinking, I, I didn't think of per se multiple units or multiple properties. I was thinking of one property with a bunch of units, but um, figured to keep everything in one place. But again, I don't have that much experience also with like big multifamily units. So I'd, maybe that's not the best option to go. Maybe it is multiple properties. I, 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 that, and that's the thing, a lot of people do that. So, I'm gonna use something that uh, Adam to not mess up his name. He he is a contributor on One Rental at a Time YouTube channel, uh, I, and he's from Detroit. And I feel so bad right now. But Adams Adamson is his last name, I believe. But um, 
the with with buying all the multifamilies in one place. I mean, yeah, all your incomes come from one place, but all your problems come from one place also. I mean, just just uh, just do a survey. Just think about the people that you know that live in apartment complexes. They complain about neighbors. They complain about they complain about dogs. They complain about this. They complain about that. And then like like let's just say a duplex side by side. If it's let's just say the it's a flood or a leak or something that goes on. It's usually isolated to just that one unit. But if you go get, you know, a big, you know, four, five, six level apartment complex, and then there's a leak on the top floor, you more than likely going to be doing rehab on that floor, the floor below it, probably even the floor below that. And then it's, it, right. it bring, becomes more problems. So that's why, and again, we always talk about, Everybody always talk about diversification, but diversification is not how you get rich, it's how you stay there. So I wouldn't isolate all that, all my risk into one place because now I got five million. I'm I got five million in cash. So now I gotta spread it out over different locations because you know, especially in Florida, hurricane might hit one spot, you know, tornado might hit another spot, landslide somewhere else, insurance <laughs> rise somewhere. So you know, you gotta yeah, yeah. you know, a whole, whole bunch of dynamics. So I don't wanna get all hit in one fell swoop and then I only got the five million and I'm stuck. So that's why I would spread it out more. I mean, I I, I would look at, you know, fives, tens. I mean, I may even go to, I I may even go 12 as the max. Okay. Hopefully trying to get it on a single level uh, plateau. Uh, or, you know, if that's, I'm talking in Florida. If I'm moving up to Georgia, if I can get a, you know, single level thing, I can go up to 32 units or something like that. But I wouldn't be looking to, go too big on units that stacked above each other right. because it, of course it brings it brings more headaches and then of course you still got the the other aspect of that is you still got the rodent issue also so like if you get one nasty tenant that gets roaches everybody got roaches you, yeah. you're gonna be exterminating the whole joint you ain't exterminating at one place so that's why i wouldn't i wouldn't try to put all my liabilities in one place also because now i'm just yeah. trying to preserve the money instead of trying to grow it that makes sense. And that's kind of what I was wondering, too, is if if that's how that would work. So, yeah, that makes sense. But with all that being said, guys, let us know what you would do in the comment section down below. Uh, don't forget to like the video, share and subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next one.